An insane solicitor who injected food with his blood during a half a million pound rampage around supermarkets in London was captured on CCTV. Leo I. Elgari, 37, entered the three shops on Fulham Palace Road carrying a bucketful of hypodermic needles, a court heard. Dramatic CCTV footage showed him then jabbing food in the ready meal section of stores with a syringe during the evening of August 25 last year. He also threw a syringe at a doctor, but it luckily caused no injuries. Police were alerted at around 7.40 p.m. after a man was reported to be throwing blood-filled syringes and eggs in the three supermarkets. The three supermarkets involved, Sainsbury's Local, Tesco Express and Little Waitrose, had to throw away all their products as a precaution, causing nearly £500,000 in losses. Elgarib denies three counts of contaminating goods and two counts of assault. Leo I. Elgarib was seen on CCTV injecting food products last August. It is agreed he carried out the acts, but the defense argues that he was in the legal sense, insane at the time. Prosecutor Philip Stott told the court, in short what happened is this. In the early evening of a late summer's day last year, Mr. Elgarib walked down the Fulham Palace Road in West London carrying a bucket. It was filled with syringes, some of which had hypodermic needles attached. A number of those syringes were filled with blood, his own. Mr. Elgari then entered, in turn, three supermarkets on the Fulham Palace Road, in order. They were Waitrose, Sainsbury's and Tesco, and he proceeded to stick those syringes in food products inside those branches of those supermarkets. Along the way he also threw some of the syringes at people inside and outside the store including hitting a passerby on the street. Elgarib was seen holding a bucket full of syringes containing his own blood, image, Nigel Howard. Elgarib is accused of assaulting Dr. Megana Kulkarni by throwing a needle at her and pushing security guard Bilal Ansari in the chest while shouting. You are all vile people and Sainsbury's is vile. Dr. Bradley Hillier, a consultant forensic psychiatrist, told the court Elgarib was severely psychotic at the time and could not appreciate that his actions were legally and morally wrong. He said, he was not thinking straight. He was in a situation where he was trying to escape this worth that the psychosis had created for him. Police officers in forensic suits speak to a colleague outside an affected store, image, PA. He was so burdened and tortured, is the word he used. Elgarib, of Crabtree Lane, Fulham, denies three counts of contaminating goods and two counts of assault by reason of insanity. The jury is now out considering its verdicts.